Yo! What is going on, legends? It's your bro, Brown, and welcome back to another phenomenal YouTube video, guys. So y'all want to look like you got the drip, but you don't got the money to spend on the drip. Well, boys, in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys six ways to look like you're balling out of control on a budget. Alright, boys, and for the legends that are going up on today's board, the winners are... Gilbert and Kiwi. I'm assuming this isn't actually his name. I think this is just a term for New Zealanders, but I guess if that's your name, that's a cool name. Gilbert and Kiwi, thank you guys. I'm gonna put you up there and join the other legends. The first tip is, is to know what to spend your money on. What pieces are you gonna spend the most money on? Obviously, you don't wanna be spending majority of your money on a t-shirt where you're gonna be using it only every so often because you're gonna need to wash it. You wanna be investing in things that you can wear very often that are gonna go with a lot of different outfits. Something like your shoes, guys. This is something you're gonna wanna spend a little bit more money on because I bought these shoes here for $25. These are from H&M. They lasted me about a month and then they started falling apart. And then on the other hand, you got these Aldo ones, which are a little bit more expensive. They're still quite affordable shoes. They're like 120 bucks and it's real leather. Plus they've lasted me for, I think over like a year and a half now already. So, and they're still in pretty decent shape. So those are the types of things you wanna be investing your money in. Number two is to make sure that you buy your staples. Staples are your things that you can wear with pretty much any outfit. They're the most versatile pieces. Things like your basic tee, your grays, your whites, your blacks, your black jeans, your blue jeans, your chinos, those things are all staples. When you're buying these things, make sure that they're minimal too. You don't want some t-shirts with tons of branding all over it because it looks cheap, guys. I don't think branding looks expensive. I think the more minimal a garment is, the more expensive it looks. Number three is to wear all black. Monochromatic outfits tend to look the most expensive and most stylish. It's neutral and it never goes out of style and it will also elongate your body, which is a tip for us manlets because this is something that I personally use on a regular basis. Remember that when you're wearing all black, you do want to add some texture clash because you don't want the garment to look like it's just all one thing. You do want it to pop. So you make sure that you have different textures, even though it's the same color. Number four is presentation. Obviously, if you roll up with your clothes all wrinkled up and got fluffs all over, nobody's going to be like, oh shit, this guy's balling out of control. Look at him. They probably won't notice you or they're going to be like, this guy has never seen an iron in his life. So get your iron out, iron your clothes, steam them, whatever you need to do, hang them up, guys. This is a key thing because if you fold your clothes, you're gonna have lines all in your clothes. So make sure that you're hanging your clothes. Right before you go out, hit him with this bad boy. This is gonna get rid of all your fluff. Number five is to review your closet. I've done this exact thing so many times. I've gone to the mall and I'm looking through t-shirts or whatever it is. And I'm like, damn, I'm like I need some of these. I don't have any. <laughs> and I'll go buy it and I'll come home and I'll look in my closet. And I'm like, oh shit, I have three of them. And it was just the biggest waste of money, guys. So if you are broke AF, you don't wanna be rebuying things that you already have. You wanna be spending the money on the things that you don't don't have. So what you should do is just go through your wardrobe every so often, check it out, look at the clothes that you don't have, write it down in your notes or on a piece of paper, then go shopping. And then that way you're not going to be spending your money on useless things that you already have. Number six is to always smell good. I know this isn't a visual one, but smelling good does actually play a factor in how expensive you look. You guys have probably experienced this before where you've gone into a nice car with nice leather interior, or you've gone to some high-end designer store. And not only does this thing look expensive, you're like, damn, this shit smells expensive. And that's what I mean, guys. You also can can smell expensive. So you want to find a signature fragrance, something that is good, something that you can use all the time. That way you're not going to have to buy a bunch of different colognes. You can use something that works for all different occasions. One that I use, I, you guys know, I use Aqua Di Gio Profumo. That is my signature fragrance. I think it's absolute best. But then again, I only have like three colognes. <laughs> so I'm sure there's tons of different good ones out there on the market, guys. You don't need to take this one. Go look for yourself. Go try them out. Go find yourself a nice signature cologne. All right, boys, now y'all are certified ballers. You just need to implement these tips and your outfits are going to look so much more stylish and you're going to look a lot more expensive, guys. So if you did enjoy today's video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys in the next video. You're Brandon. Peace out. Take care, guys.